All right, I'm going to start with Baloo Dump Truck. Now, we all know this big, lovable, faggot-ass wannabe grizzly bear. This guy pretty much pwned himself early in my game and was more than enough motivation to keep this project going. See, this guy used to be a massive lows bag for me. Now he just kind of does his own thing. Well, anyways, after talking to him with the furry girl for a while, I guess I commented on something, so he asked me to be his friend, whatever. I eventually asked him if he received any flag from trolls. After telling me he does get trolled, he tells me the best thing to do is to ignore them. In fact, he makes it very clear to ignore the trolls. I have screen grab after screen grab of this guy not only responding to multiple trolls, including myself, he's attempting to counter troll. Look! Look at that! Just ignore them. Don't comment unless they use smart thinking. So, I guess Blue is under the impression that trolls use smart thinking because he keeps replying to them out the ass cracks. Thanks, Blue. All right, this guy is clearly a hypocrite, and he's a fag. No, I mean, he's a fag. Look, I don't want to waste any more time on this guy, so I'll sum up his epic failure that personally made me happy. Like I said before, I whined to him with the furry girl for advice on getting rid of trolls, how annoying they are, blah, 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 and Baloo pretty much makes my day here. I got to you? Well, thanks, Blue, for finally admitting it. Look. Just look at what he says. Look at how he acts. It's very clear that this guy is affected hardcore by trolls. For those of you who have trolled this guy in the past and thought he was successfully counter-trolling, forget about him. His true colors come out right here in this one screen cap. Blue, consider yourself TROLL. Okay, this is Wolf Lord Morgrim. First name, John. And I'm not going to say his last name, and he's very lucky for that. Now, he's not a big player in the furry fandom, but he's going to be pissed. And I'll tell you why. Okay, starts out innocent enough, right? Yeah, we're just talking. I tell him I'm a 14-year-old girl, he's 19. Okay, well, that's okay if we're just talking, I, I guess, right? Right. What the hell? Okay, I'll lay it out straight. This guy is a sick, sick pedophile. This guy thought he was talking to a 14-year-old girl. Well, as he learns today, the furry girl is far from a 14-year-old girl. I mean, as you can see, it starts out okay. Like the rest of the outrageous fur boys, he greets me like a typical fur fag. I'm actually embarrassed for this kid. But what's with this role playing? I mean, even in seemingly normal conversations, this guy's desperateness for jailbait action leaks through. So, as things progress, you know, we build a trust and a friendship. I play into his role playing, and of course, he plays along even more. All right, all right, all right. So, let me spare you the screen grabs for a sec. This adult, as far as he knows, is talking to a minor, sexually role-playing. Oh, uh, don't most ser serial killers start out killing small animals? Ah, you see where this is going, okay? You know what I mean. All right, now, months later, uh, during Yahoo email chat, I asked this guy if he wants to meet me and some other jailbait friends in California, right? You know, to engage in such activities. So, what do you think his reply is? Of course he wants to do that. He wants to meet with minors and engage in sexual activities with them. And what's the... He's naming terms? Wow, what an asshole. I mean, just read these. Pause and read these. Look at that. That's terrible. Okay, sent me a video of a female sex toy that he bought. Has a horse fetish. No surprise there. He is a furry. And apparently he would make the perfect boyfriend. Yeah, for 14-year-old girls. And on top of that all, it looks like he's kind of uncomfortable about this to begin with, so I guess he does have something of a moral compass, but it looks like Needle is pointing to E for illegal. I apologize, but that's the best oh, I have. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Just show another screen grab. Alright, what is this? Haha, ha, that's okay, blah blah blah. Usually into romance and stuff, but with Cassie... I... Who's Cassie? Cassie, Cassie is the love of my life. We have both devoted our hearts to each other, and I've even asked her to marry me. Wait, she said, yeah... California, get close, hot, what? He has a girlfriend? Wow, so that's what he meant by mate. He needs permission from his girlfriend to mess around with other girls? Wait, 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 so stop, just stop. So this pedophile needs permission from his girlfriend to do pedophile things. Maybe his girlfriend is okay with him sleeping around with other girls, odd enough, but would he really tell her that they're minors? This is weird. Cassie, if you're real, seriously, I hope you have some sense and dump this furry loser. I would advise that you ditch this freakish furry. If you think this is okay, Cassie, then you're one dumb bitch. Oh, and John, I know you're watching. I know you're pissed. Good. Consider yourself... TROLLED HARD!
Oh, let's see here. <laughs> Anytime, blah, blah, blah. Long, hard, ebony skunk cock. Heavy, plump, cum-filled balls hanging <laughs> between her and her. Dear Lord. Oh, let's check this one out. Haha, <laughs> yep, you are, blah, blah. Okay, look here. One mistake can change your life for the worse in an instant. So just use your noodle over spring break. Yeah, just like you thought you'd be using your noodle over this summer. All right, what what is this one? Uh, perfect mate. Per Get off of my internet, you pedophile. Oh. All right, let's see what else we got in the chat bag. Ah, here we go. Mr. Disambiguation. Well, what am I supposed to say about this attention whore? He started the little YouTube furry skirmish. Says it was a war like none other. Uh, it was going to change the internet forever. Serious business, man. Well, I also asked him how to deal with trolls. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let's see. To kill a troll, one must become a troll. Actually, hackers defeat trolls and people who ignore them. Fortunately for us, furries will never sustain enough mental discipline to simply ignore them, nor will they ever become smart enough to hack. Use the hate they feed off of, of, to feed yourself. You have to think like them. So in the end, if my plain, plan, dumbass, does work, furries will be just like trolls, but they will win. Actually, and I don't know how many times this has been stressed, trolls feed off of people's reactions. You know, just like the ones I'm going to get after doing all this, you know. And furries contain the hate because of the trolls. And it doesn't matter how cool the furries attempted counter trolling looks. Yeah, remember blue hump nuggets? Yeah, it looks real tough on the outside, but when push comes to shit, he's just a spiteful little fur fact who just can't take it. And it's the same for all furries forever. Besides, fur drama happens without the aid of trolls. Give them legitimate criticism. They will have an anal evacuation. You know, in the past, you know, I never started out actually trolling furries. I just made it clear that I don't really care about their fandom. They can do whatever they want. And I got an ass blast of bitchiness handed to me. Of course, this was back in 2006, so I really had nothing to show. But I digress, I digress. Mr. D is just enough ball in it for the attention. Check this out. Well, backfully, I did what I do when I want to take down a large group. I infiltrated their base. I disguised myself as one of them, stuck around, and got all the info I could get my hands on. Eventually, the irony will kill me. And what I found out is that their leader really wants to kill all furries. Trolls don't really agree with that. Can you blame them? No, but really, fake trolls like those from the AFO, they don't count, okay? But seriously, our agenda is just to get some lows for God's sakes, uh, not the murder. Uh, at least he does separate the two in the parentheses. So then I set the spam bombs and kaboom. Watch out everybody, the countless success of hacking furry accounts and successfully trolling them has no sway on the power of... FURRY SPAM! And it looks like there's little to no effort in here. Knowing that they would kick me for doing so, I told them the trolls that their group is bracking your number one rule by blocking people. So now that I have the trolls on my side, I use them to bring the AFO down to its knees. Well, like I said before, the AFO was retarded to begin with. Real trolls don't need groups to make epic lows and sue. They're a joke. You don't need a whole group to pull off some classic trolling. So, nice accomplishment, or lack thereof, Mr. Dumbass. Any trolls you thought you had on your side are fakers. Okay, AFO is a sham. Real trolls... They just get their reactions, plain and simple. It's not that hard. You furries despise trolling. You think it's of the devil. We love it. It's great internet pastime. If everybody ignored us, I guess we would spend our extra 30 minutes a week differently. <laughs> well, I got you to think you were talking to a girl for a year, got the information I wanted, and I'm receiving the much-deserved lows at this point. And you've been... TROLLED! Comment, make a video, start another war, bah about it, pretend like it doesn't bother you. You've been had and you didn't even know it, Mr. D. You've been debunked. Let's see you hold your composure and not go back to your furry ways. You know, I guess this guy quit the furry fandom. And it looks like as of July 2010, he got suspended. Thanks for playing my game, Mr. D, or should I say, Farmer Dick. Yeah, looks like this guy does farm work, too. Better keep Wolf Lord Morgan away from those damn horses.